It's, it's not a sequel. They lied. They put Cloverfield in the title, but it's totally not. It's not a sequel at all. Hey guys, so you're probably wondering why am I doing it like this? Well, I'm kind of doing a little bit of an homage, a, a triage almost, to the original Cloverfield, which 10 Cloverfield Lane has nothing to do with. Now, that shouldn't be subjected from the film. The film itself is actually pretty good. It's probably one of the best films I have seen this year so far, at least the first part of it. Now, the film is about Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who is in a car accident, and she wakes up in a bunker, and then creepy John Goodman's there, along with this John Gallagher Jr. guy. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing you're trying to think of the whole time is, why is she there? How can she get out? And she's actually doing exactly what you're thinking. Every time she does, she sees a situation, or she sees an opportunity, she takes it. And what the film does, actually, is it kind of comes to the point of where you would think it would come to a lot later on, much earlier. But that actually is what's so good about the film, is it actually does a few things that you would think it would do, but then it does them better. And it actually has a few twists that I didn't even see coming, and I was quite impressed because the whole time is you're trying to wonder whether you should believe John Goodman or think he's totally batshit crazy. The problem is he is completely crazy, and his character mannerisms in this show, in this uh, film, are fantastic. He has an absolutely amazing character who is both creepy as hell and has these weird mannerisms, well, like a, almost like an Asperger's like person, but his whole character is, you're constantly questioning whether he's real or whether he's absolutely batshit crazy. And there are moments where you almost believe him and you, you're on the side of him. But the thing that I can't stand the most is how the film ends. The film is a fantastic setup. It has absolutely amazing set pieces while being just in one bunker. But when the conclusion comes, it's... I, I wanted something that was an ambiguity, like something that's, it kind of gives the idea, but it doesn't give it away fully, kind of like how the ending of Conception was. I wanted something that was a lot less solid, and unfortunately, I got something that was unbelievably solid, and in my opinion, stupid. Now, that isn't to say that the whole film itself is as attractive for it, but I feel that the end sequence is weak as hell because of how it ends, and it lowered my ranking. Like the whole time, I'm like, holy shit, this film is near perfect. Like I can't believe how great this film is, especially for a first-time director. I think the guy did an amazing job, and I think the performances are all fantastic. Even the John Gallagher Jr. guy, who doesn't get that much screen time, but I actually thought that he was really good for what he was. It's the ending. The ending, in my opinion, is weak. I think it's so stupid. I understand the moral lesson of it, the whole conclusion for the characters, but I just thought the ending was dumb. I wanted something a little bit less solid, a little bit more, oh, I wonder if. So in the end, I'm going to give Cloverfield 10 Lane, or 10 Cloverfield Lane, it's uh, a 5 out of 7. I think it's a good watch. I think you guys will enjoy it. Don't expect to be in Cloverfield film because it has absolutely nothing to do with it. But otherwise, it's actually a pretty enjoyable flick. Anyway, I'll never do this again because this is heavy as shit to try and do this with the setup I've got. But you know what? I thought it was fun to try. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.